Yo, what's good and welcome back guys. So today we're gonna do another install on the Corolla and I'm gonna show you guys how to put some hella fog lights on it. All right guys, so we're gonna continue to build the front end of the car. I've already got the headlights in. You saw in the last video, we got the front bumper in finally. That's a couple videos ago. And I think uh, fog lights would make this look a lot better on the front end wise. Um, we're gonna go ahead and probably get like a grill later on just to finish the whole front end look. And hopefully we can get a new uh, license plate since this one's all bent up. And once we get that all done, we'll start doing more stuff to the other parts of the car. So we're gonna be running these Hella fog lights right here. They're the Comet 550s. Um, these are way easier to get than trying to get your hands on one of those rare OEM uh, Toyota ones, the automatic flip ups. But I think this will make the front end look a lot better and a lot cooler. So these ones are actually like amber, amber style ones. So I can actually run them all the time where I live. So I can abide by laws and stuff, whatnot. So we got those two lights right there. Comes with the wiring harness. It's got a fuse, got a relay. We got some mounts. We're gonna probably have to make our own mounts like so this connects to the actual car better. And just some switches and stuff, but let's get these bad boys on. All right, so the look I'm trying to go for, I'm probably gonna get them to mount inside those little holes right there. So it's gonna actually like fit kind of like that on both sides. So we're gonna have to make like a mount that goes under there and try to mount it under there somehow. So what we're gonna do is actually start with just getting everything wound up with the wiring because I'm kind of running out of daylight already starting this video late. I can't really build a mount for the fog lights tonight. So I'll probably do that early in the morning, but the faster we get the wiring done, the easier it'll be tomorrow just to finish this video. But yeah, we're gonna run the wiring through the bay and try to get it nice and neat so it doesn't look off putting and just get that all failed up. All right, so we have this whole wiring harness right here. This is where the relay goes. And we got a uh, yellow wire. This is gonna go to the switch. Blue wire right here, this is gonna be the ground for it. The red wire is gonna go to the battery. And then this little blue wire is gonna be our ground. So the only uh, wires we actually need in the engine bay is gonna be the red wire and the black wire that goes to the actual fog lights. So what I'm gonna do is start inside the cabin and get this in a location where I can actually mount the relay and stuff. So then I can start trimming back some of the wires because it's a pretty long harness, which I don't really need. And then once we get all that settled and <clears throat> put in, we can run the wires up to the engine bay. There's a wire loom that actually goes right here under the weather guard or the fender. So we'll probably run those two wires through there. So it just pops out. It pops out right here somewhere. So then we can just run the two black wires down here to the fog lights and then just run over the red wire to the battery right here. All right, now that we're under here, um, we got the relay right, which is this has this little like a uh, little hole right there that we can mount and there's this piece of metal right up here. So I'm probably just going to zip tie it to that spot right there. I'm going to look for a bolt up here just to put the blue ground and then we're going to start uh, wiring everything. We got the ground connected right here to this mount. She's the bolt and then we have the, the relay right there there, zip tied back in up there so it's not gonna move around. Now we're gonna focus and wrap this yellow wire. Focus and wrap this yellow wire up to this side of the panel so we can put the switch in. And once we run that switch back, then we'll start pushing our way forward to the front of the car. Okay, so we got this uh, fender well out and this is where it goes into the cabin. It's gonna run the wire up to the front of the bay. So what I'm gonna do is try to poke a bigger little hole cause it's kind of cramped in there and try to push the wires through so I can try to just feed them in from going from this way. So I'm probably gonna have to like splint the harness over there in the near the relay so I can be able to push it through cause I don't think I'm gonna be able to push it through from the inside out. 
All right, guys, so we're gonna start by pushing the back ends of this through here. This is where the hole's at. So it's gonna go through the wheel well, ah, the wheel well, and then we're gonna push it through that actual groove or the grommet back there. Alright guys, so it's the next couple days, the weather's changed a little bit. It's uh, rainy out right now. So we're gonna try to focus on getting the fog lights mounted right now while it's not actually raining because these clouds look like it's gonna rain pretty much later and all the rest of the day. So we're gonna work on everything we can do outside of the car. And then once we get that all figured out, we'll go back inside the car and get all the wiring and the switch and put in. And then the video will be over, but yeah, let's get it. So what I did slightly off camera was start building some brackets for the actual light because um, I don't want to actually drill inside or mess with the bumper that I put on. So I made these like little L brackets for now. It's going to bolt to like the bottom of where the actual tow hook spot was in the car. As you can see, I kind of already mounted that one up right now. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do that and then it's going to have to extend a little bit longer. So I'm going to weld another piece that will go onto the back side of this, which actually goes right here to actually swivel the headlight, but it's going to be able to kind of extend out and stick through this actual spot right here in the car, just so there's a gap right here. So we're going to go ahead and finish welding all that part up. So I already gone ahead and welded like a bolt onto just like an extended piece of tube. I'm gonna go ahead and measure the length of that actually being bolted on. So then we can chop that piece down some and then add that little U bracket. And then I'm gonna go ahead and weld that on. And that should be pretty much set for this side and we'll do the exact same thing to the other side. So here's the bracket. It's actually gonna bolt into the L bracket that we made for the car. And then I will just weld this up right here and then the fog lights gonna mount like that and we'll be able to adjust it put it down. So nice little riser right here. All right, dang, it looks sick. So that's how it looks all mounted up. Um, we'll probably tighten them really good after we're done with both sides just so I hand wall all the wiring's done just so we can adjust like the levels of the light and the angle that it shines at but we'll tighten all the bolts down later on just so we can get it nice and level but right now that's already looking sick all I need to do is get a license plate that's not all bent this front end's gonna be sick so now we'll do the other side and then we'll go back and work on the wiring I really dig how they look so now we're gonna go ahead and start from this side of the wiring harness and we're gonna wire from um, right there, the front of it. We have some plugs so we can be able to unplug the fog lights if we need to take them off. So we're gonna crimp those on and then start from the front to the back. So these are the plugs we got. Um, they're just basic waterproof plugs that they look good. So crimp those up and then connect the ground to the chassis right here in the front and let's keep it going. So this is the harness, this finished product of it. I put like this protective stuff on it just because of the front and the heat and whatever, just to keep it nice and clean over time. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug this in, put the ground on right there, and then kind of hide this wire back a little bit. And then we'll do the power and then go inside and do the switch. So my other switch idea wasn't gonna work, so I ended up finding a defrost button switch, which I'll just get like a fog light sticker to go over that. So we're just gonna wire the last two wires. We have the power from the battery going into a fuse to the relay, and we have the relay grounded, and then we have the black wire that goes from the relay to 
the fog lights and those are grounded up there in the front. And now that's left is this yellow wire. It's gonna go to the switch and this green wire is connected to um, another 12 volt source that when you turn the car on then it's like an ignition 12 volt. So when you hit the switch, it gets that power from the green wire, which also has a fuse and it's gonna go to the relay, which will hit the lights to turn on. guys so it's all set up now we have the defroster switch right here which kind of looks like the other one over there but it looks oem still so i don't have to put like some weird looking switch in we'll end up getting like a sticker or something for that just so it's a fog light just so you can tell a little bit of a difference and yeah it works pretty good as you could see in the other video earlier and there we go we got the hella fog lights on they don't look that bright right now in the daytime, but we'll probably take it out later at night and get some cool little videos of it and see how bright they are. These fog lights make the front end a lot better looking. Um, almost pretty much done with the front end and how I want it. I'll probably end up looking for some lip options maybe and probably a different grill because this one's kind of janky, kind of faded and old, but we'll get that all taken care of soon, hopefully. But yeah, the front end looks, it looks pretty cool. It's not an 8.6, but it's kind of getting there. It kind of looks pretty sick. I'm literally super stoked with it. If you guys go on like my Instagram, I did a couple of, I did like a cool little picture of it out at night when it was raining when I couldn't work on it. But now that's in the daylight. This thing's gonna look sweet on the road. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for the install. Um, it took a couple days, but we got through it. I'll probably throw a, something in the description just to show you guys exactly where the wires go and what colors I did, just if you didn't catch along of what I did. You know, I'll try to make it, explain it a little bit more easy for you guys. But yeah, thanks again for watching guys. Um, if you guys want a thumb wrestle like always, you can throw it down below and we'll see you guys in the next video.